I've seen Vlad and the academics sit down together. News you can use. Boss Talk 101 News You Can Use segment. This is something that we do uh, have started. Make sure you guys get in the comment. Tell us what you think about uh, the things that we're sharing over here. Make sure you like, subscribe to our channel. Uh, make sure you uh, share the information that we are providing. First thing I want to talk about, Country Wayne. Country Wayne uh, was on The Breakfast Club here recently, a couple of days ago. And um, he said that, you know, nobody never broke up with him and it ended up being uh, Jess Hilarious is one of their frequenters. She does a lot of times now she's been co-hosting somewhat so he should have seen this coming a mile away uh, they called him after he left I'm pretty sure they staged it I'm pretty sure they called um, him and let him know they was gonna call him they all friends so I'm pretty sure uh, 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 DJ Envy and all those guys they rock together I'm a big country Wayne supporter as well um, seemed like they was having fun with it doing it so I guess some stuff the controversy he's cool with and some is not he's just the way his whole demeanor <laughs> but listen you <laughs> said you broke up with Jess Wayne yeah I just left right? yeah. oh you, you, but you no 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 but I can promise you they called him and they was just hilarious say she did break up with him I don't know that's pretty personal but at the end of the day you know um He's, he, he tackled the subject with him and they had a good time. Ha ha ha. He, he. Because you said you left. I broke up with you and you mm -hmm. left the house that you put me in, by the way. Nah. But you, you left it. And everybody was happy, you know. Uh, but just hilarious points out the fact that he purchased a home. Um, Man, that's a big purchase. I don't know how true that is, but that's what that's what that's how they riding over there. So shout out to them, man. That's the next level, I guess. You know, um, these guys are doing what they can to make sure they uh, keep keep it saucy on, on, on these platforms as usual, man. So hey, man, uh, love Mike Bless, love uh, his whole team that he, around him, row all those people, man, and hey, wish him the best, man. We'll be uh, linking up with them for sure when I'm in ATL, man. God bless y'all hustle um next day i want to talk about the boosie man boosie was boosie did a thing with vlad uh vlad and boosie they back on the back on the scene they give us an interview probably every three uh, maybe three weeks maybe a month these boys getting to it you know um crazy thing about it they bring up the fact of as soon as it start they bring up ti and boosie's fallout behind the snitching uh, thing and, and boosie said he apologized uh, to ti me and i failed him and uh you know i gave him an apology you know i apologize uh, i don't know what the apology was about i don't know if he felt like he should have came to him in private something happened where he felt like he had to apologize he didn't go into great detail about apologizing but he did say he did apologize what do you guys think you think boosie should apologize to ti for for uh, uh saying what he said or the way that he said it i think those guys are, are, are both you know they rock with each other their kids rock with each other these these guys you know again some more of the, the spicy stuff we find on these platforms man where it just it seems to be so seamlessly done but then it seems to cure itself i'm just saying boss talk 101 we watching we seeing we giving you a point the points that we see so uh that's crazy but it's good to see that they apologize and they back cool they back i don't want to see no black men that can't look at each other and get along with each other in a way to where their families can grow together if they got a a, a real relationship so man shout out to uh, Vlad and them they doing their thing over there him and Boosie man connecting the dots hey man um, also man I want to talk about Jerry Spring Jerry Springer died man and he wasn't I mean you know I don't know how I think that he was 80 something or, or 79 I don't know it's a trip I, I, I really don't research him much but he was I mean look man cause I think I don't know how old he was but I'm gonna find out for y'all cuz y'all need to y'all need to hear this uh, uh, y'all need to know that man he was 79 that's a trip 79 is a good that's the hey Man, three score and ten. He did. He did. He lived a great life, y'all. Whether y'all want to believe it or not. But before that, I couldn't say he died without saying Harry Belafonte. Harry Belafonte died as well. He was 96. These are some long years. If I can get these years, boy, I'd be happy. So these guys, they 
live great lives, long lives, rich, prosperous lives. So we celebrating the we celebrating both of their uh, lives, man. Not their death, but their lives. So hey, they live great, great, you know, long lives, man. So man, shout out to their family, man. Uh, my condolences to their family. I know that for a fact that 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 hurt, that, you know, that me that messes with uh, their. Um, you know their family so here we go man and and, and i want to talk about uh say uh also i seen vlad and academics sit down together crazy academics and sit down man, academics is blowing up right about now he's doing his thing every time i see him i'll be tripping off the fact of how he's growing and excelling so fast this guy right here, man, is killing the game. He's he here, he there, he everywhere. He attacking subjects every time. You can't beat that, man. How he's how he's tackling everything that come his way. So this guy, academics, sits down with Vlad. Vlad and him address a couple of different subjects. Uh, but the one thing that I seen that that stroked me was like, dang, man, they they, they talked about Charleston White. They said Charleston White. He was blackballed from Bled. You don't rock with Charleston White anymore. No more. No, you don't see him covered on the site. Uh, you won't see interviews with us anymore. And pretty much, they not gonna have it back on their show. And I tripped off off of that because they started off early on together, like we started with him. You know, far as having him on a couple of times, and we hadn't had him in almost a couple of years now ourselves. Um, everybody go down the Charleston White White Road, and and they and what they find is, you know, um, you know. Hey, if you want to deal with him, you deal with him. If you don't, you don't. You know, at the end of the day, uh, we we fed kids together, as I always say. We rock out. Uh, and so, uh, uh, not that we was procrastinating, but we just now being able to uh, connect. Uh, yeah, connect with him. Okay. So, Traylon, what's going on, man? You, you you see the story that Charleston just told. Yeah. Tell me that you've been out here a little while. Now, what the heck you been doing? Man, I've been working, man. All right, that's what I want to hear, y'all. Yeah, that's, that's a proud statement, yeah, man. So how old are you? Job. I'm 17. And how long was you locked up? Like 10 months this time. 10 months this time. Yeah. He said this, this time. time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so so w w how long was it last time? Last time, like six months. We did some things. I don't think none of those other guys, uh, except maybe Say Cheese, Sean Cotton, has. It, it really was a thing where we dealt with the juveniles together. You can go online and check it out. You'll see him with me, and I'm giving clothes away out of Boss Talk 101 stores, and I'm, I'm putting up money. Me and me and uh, the team going to the juvenile centers. Um, we actually did some work, you know, with Charleston uh, for us helping the community. Now all this other stuff I, I really to be honest with you um i'm not with it it's not my thing man being a family man and i just felt like it was time for us to go another way and basically you know he grew he's growing we growing we, we you know he dealing with different things the academics of the world we dealing with the phasons and all of the different things of the world the mike bless the, the ice teas so everybody's moving on man it's a part of growth you grow on and you move on people don't stay together forever this is a evolving you know revolving door so these guys are, are you know they, they do their thing they, they move on and at the end of the day we definitely moved on a long time ago me and my team decided we we're gonna rock out with the world so you might see us in europe you might see us in brazil you might see us anywhere covering the news you can use man so don't be surprised at any at anything you might see so um definitely man shout out to vlad and shout out to academics man for that great interview you guys are killing it um Maybe one day I get to sit down with you, or maybe one day you get to sit down with E, CEO, and if not, follow, hey, watch the move, because they news you can use, all these different things gonna be happening, full speed ahead, the South is in the house. Listen, man, check it, man. News you can use, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe our channel, man. Thank you so much. Share. It's your boy, E, CEO. Yeah, I think I got it all.